M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Icon52 Terminal Mode. Let me show you how to use this. First thing you want to do is get your USB cable in. I've got an adapter and plug it into your PC. You can use a mobile phone, but I'm using the PC in this video. Next thing, go menu, over to gateway, and mine is connected now. Select, you're in terminal mode, okay? Let's just make sure I'm in. Go to menu, terminal. Then click upwards to two. Select it, and then you need to select what you're going to connect to. So go. We're going to go all the way down, and we're going to put direct input UR. And in here, in, you're going to put in what you want to connect to. So delete with the VFO, and I'm going to put in uh, slash. XLX477B, which is Hubnet. The way you do it is put the slash first, turning the top knob, like so. Go across with the low, start to select X, and I'll do the whole lot. I'll just show you a couple. X, then go across. You're going all the way across like that with the low button. L. At the end, we're going to put in a B and then enter. Now these these numbers aren't random. They are numbers of XLX reflectors, and they tend to be uh, the owner will be running a server. So that's all. That's the radio all set up now in terminal mode. It says terminal here. Cable in there. Then download this app, and I'll put the link in. It's called the RS MS. 3W. Just download it, go to the bottom, click download and run it. And when you run it, you will end up with that square that you're seeing. Okay, it looks like an app. Okay. Next thing you'll do is right click device manager. And you want to get your COM port number. Mine is 30. In the settings of the app, just go... Up here we've put in g7rpg.hubnet.uk. I'll put the, 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 you know, the details in the description. I have registered with the D-Star Gateway system, which is just here. So again, I'll put the link in for that. Register so your D-Star call sign is eligible. Back to the app. So we've used M0FXB, two spaces and a B. Remember that's eight characters in total. So M0FXB, space, space, B, yours will be your call sign. I've clicked disable here, global and on. That means when, when the UDP hole punch is on, they don't need to set port 4000. Left disable means you're not filtering call signs. You can listen to everyone. G7RPG. And then, so if I just, not going to start yet. But when you put those details in, if you press apply and you get an error, it means you've done it wrong. Just do it again. Otherwise, settings, COM port, and at the top, we've got the little set of COM port window, 30. Click OK, and then press play. Play means connect. As soon as you do that, if you've set it up correctly, now look here, you've got all your information here. It will start working, and you can receive and transmit. No antenna required. No antenna required, it's just there. And it will just work, and that's terminal mode on the ICOM 52. You can hear it, and it's the same with the 705. The good thing about the 705 is it will do it wirelessly. 